Hi, Pre-K. My name is Mrs. Stalwick. I'm one of your elementary school counselors. I am a person who helps you with your feelings, and I also do lessons about um, kindness and um, how to be a good friend and what to do when we have lots of big feelings. So I'm going to be um, on your computer like this or some maybe even in your classroom at some time. Um, and we're going to come in and talk to you and teach you how to be um, a kind friend. So that's exactly what our lesson is on today. We are going to learn about how to be a good friend. So um, I have a PowerPoint or a, a sheet for us to go over. So it says 12 ways to show kindness. So there are lots of different ways for us to show kindness by just listening to a friend. Just listen to a friend. That's showing kindness. When we are a good listener to our friends and we show them that we are paying attention to them, that is showing kindness. We can write somebody a kind note, or maybe you can draw your friend a picture, or your mom, or grandma, or grandpa, or uncle, or auntie. By drawing a picture, that is an act of kindness. So invite someone to join you. If you're playing something, it's always a kind thing to do to ask someone to play with you. If someone asks you to play with them, you shouldn't say, no, you can't play with us. Instead, you should say, sure, right? The more, the merrier. If someone makes a mistake, Forgive them, and that's a great thing to do because we all make mistakes, and if we make a mistake, we would want someone to forgive us. So it shows kindness when we forgive someone for a mistake. Let someone else go first. When we take turns, maybe you always like to go down the slide first, but sometimes it's kind to let someone else go first. So that's important to take turns, and sometimes you go first, and sometimes they go first. Give someone a high five. Showing kindness, you can give somebody a high five or um, ask them if they want to hug. So those are great ways to show kindness. Work with someone new. You might have a best friend that you love to do all of your stuff with, but it's okay to try things with other people. And working with someone new is a great way to show kindness. Helping to clean up our toys. One way we can show kindness is just by picking up after ourselves, by putting your shoes where your shoes go, by putting your clothes in the hamper, and picking up your toys. In the classroom, it's so helpful and respectful and kind to put your toys away, and same thing for at home. We can practice kindness at home and at school. Help someone who's having a tough day. If you see one of your friends is sad and having a sad day, if you go up to them and you say, how can I help you? Or want to play with me or show kindness when they're sad, that is a great way to be a kind friend is to help someone when they're having a rough day. Another way to show kindness is to hold the door open for somebody. So if you're on the way out and there's someone behind you, if you just stop and you let the other and hold the door for the other person behind you, that's a great way to show kindness. Another way to show kindness is to do an extra chore. Maybe if you're at dinner time and you just pick up your plate and take it to the sink, that's a great way to show kindness. Or you put your laundry in the laundry room or you put your backpack ready to go for the next day by the front door. Those are all great ways to show kindness. Spend some time with a friend. So it's always nice and kind to share and spend time with our friends. So now I have a, a fun story for us to listen to on what it means to be kind. And this book is called Kindness is Cooler with Mrs. Ruler. So I hope you enjoy this book on kindness. Here we go. It was, it was cold, cold, it was, it was raining. raining. And Mrs. Mrs. Ruler's class hadn't been outside all week. The students were getting jumpy and grumpy. Anaya and Tawana whispered during story time. David pulled Rockwellita's ponytail and Rockwellita stole his hat. Then David grabbed Connor's hat and threw it in the hall. That's enough, too rough. The bell rang, it was time for recess. As the kids left, Mrs. Ruler kept Anaya, Tawana, Connor, Rockwellita, and David behind. Sit down, don't frown. Now tell me, why do you think I've kept you in from recess? We were acting up. That's right. You were being mean to one another. 
and you acted as if it's cool to be mean, but it's not. What is a cooler way to act? Kindness is cooler, Mrs. Ruler. Bravo! A slice of nice makes a mile of smile. You five need to practice being kind. During the next few days, I want you to perform five acts of kindness for your families. Then, in show and tell, you can share what you did with the rest of the class. David scowled. What if we don't feel like being kind? Mrs. Ruler smiled. Good deeds, Phil needs. Count on me, you'll see. The next day, Anaya and Tawana couldn't wait for show and tell. When it was their turn, they ran to the front of the class. We did 10 acts of kindness last night. Before dinner, I made special placements. I set the table. I drew hearts on the napkins to show mom we love her. I grated the cheese for the macaroni. I helped make the salad. After dinner, we carried the dishes to the sink. And I loaded the dishwasher. While I took out the garbage. Then I sponged off the table. And I straightened up the chairs. Mom told us how much she liked our homework it put her in such a good mood that we want to do more nice things for her. Bravo! Ten acts of kindness will lead to more. Give me the chalk and I'll keep score. She wrote the twins' deeds on the blackboard. When she was finished, she looked at David. What about you? Did you practice too? No. I just couldn't get into it. Oh my. Please try. Kindness is cooler. After school, Rockwellita invited Connor over for a play date. She had a new dog and a big family, so there were lots of ways Rockwellita and Connor could practice being kind. In show and tell, the next day, they shared kindness with the class. We took paddles for a walk, and we threw him a ball. I filled his wando dish, and I gave him some puppy chow. Puppy chow? Wow! Then we built a block tower with my little brother and gave Abuelo and Abuelita their canes before they took a walk. We also helped Wakulita's dad carry in the groceries from the car. And I gave my baby sister her bottle. I count eight, and eight is great. That's not all. When I got home, I took in the mail. I also gave the clean laundry upstairs. Bravo, all together you did 10. And how much do the twins' 10 acts and your 10 make? 20! 20 is plenty. But how about you, David? What did you do? Too few for you. <laughs> <laughs> I told my brother I liked his haircut, then I let him use my comb. That's all I could think of. Well, that's a good start. Keep doing your part. Then Lauren raised her hand and said, I'd like to try some acts of kindness when I get home today, too. Okay, hooray! Let's turn this into a class project. For the rest of the week, I'd like you to bring in some acts of kindness you've done at home. I'll write your acts on paper hearts and put them on the bulletin board, and I'll also add the ones from the blackboard. Put away clothes, vacuumed living room rug, shelved books, let my big brother use my computer, told dad I liked his shirt, got sister a band-aid when she skinned her knee, cleaned my room, fed goldfish, emptied waste baskets, watered house plants, put groceries away, drew pictures with my little sister, told my sister that she has nice teeth. We have so many, we'll need another wall. Let's count. One, two, three, four, The kids five, counted until they six. reached 35. Bravo! Now let's try skip counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That's right. You're bright. We should keep going with this project. Now let's try some acts of kindness at school. I'll add those to the wall, too. Don't forget, a slice of nice makes a mile of smile. As Mrs. Ruler kept cutting out more hearts,
Connor and Pablo tried some school kindness too. They invited David to sit with them at lunch. But when they finished their sandwiches, David took one of Connor's cookies. Hey, quit it. He grabbed David's lunch bag and threw it over his head. Stop. Don't you remember what Mrs. Ruler said? Good deeds fill needs. David, don't grab. And Connor used to have four cookies. Why don't you share them with David and me? Oops. You're right. For a moment, I forgot about being kind. I agree. Here are three. Yum. I'm going to ask my babysitter to help me make cookies when I get home. And then you can bring them to school. And share them with the whole class. And Miss Ruler will congratulate me for being extra kind. But I still won't have done as many acts of kindness as everyone else. So think of other things to catch up. David didn't have to think for too long. That afternoon, when Caitlin was cleaning the gerbils' cage, the gerbils got loose. One even jumped to the window ledge. Mrs. Ruler hopped on a chair. Eek! Squeak! Everyone ran for cover. Everyone but David. He chased the gerbils. He scooped them up one by one. Then he set them back where they belonged. Hooray for David! Your act of kindness was the best. Now go on home and do the rest. She jumped off the chair and added the acts of kindness from that week to the wall. Mrs. Ruler and the class counted up all the hearts. By now, the class had done 70 acts of kindness. That's great. But wait, there's more in store. Let's keep going and spread some kindness beyond school. There are lots of kind acts you can do in the community. But we're just little kids. How can we do stuff outside our house and school? I'll ask your parents to work with you on community kindness, and I'll help too. All it takes is one simple act, one act of kindness that will make the world a better place. If you act from your heart and do your part, we'll end up with 100 acts of kindness all together. Now the class was really excited, and David was more excited than anyone. A few weeks later, the kids shared their acts of community kindness. Mrs. Ruler added more hearts to the wall. Again, the class counted one, two, three, until they got to 99. Oh no, Uh uh-oh, we still need one more. Then she paused and thought for a moment. I know, let's have a class party. We'll decorate and celebrate. And so we learned that there are lots of ways to be kind, right? You can be kind at home. You can be kind at school. Um, And so that's what I want you all to practice. I want you to practice kindness no matter where you are. If you're at home, if you're at school, there's always a way. So again, I just want you to know that no matter where you are, if you're at home, or at school, you can always practice kindness. And when you're kind, it makes you feel good and it makes other people feel good too. So there were lots of different ways that those kids showed kindness. They picked up their toys, they were kind to each other. They weren't always kind to each other, but their teacher taught them the importance of being kind, right? And so that's what I want you all to do, is to go on and I want you to try and do acts of kindness just like those kids did in the book. And you can practice kindness at home just like by some of the activities that those kids did in our story, or you can come up with different things that you can do to show kindness. So I want you to tell me and your teacher how you practice kindness just like the kids did in our story today. I hope you had a wonderful time, Pre-K, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!